Good evening. Welcome back. Um, tonight on the kitchen table, I'm in a bitter mood. Um, I mean, the drink. So a nice, just a nice pint of bitter, um, which I need to have another mouthful of. Hmm. Oh, cheers. That's very good. Um, quick tip tonight about batteries um, and specifically about topping the charge off if it's not quite 100%. Um, this was kind of inspired by um, a call I had a couple of weeks ago from a friend who said, oh, I think I've, I've either broken my battery or I've broken my charger. Because what he wanted to do, he'd been running his, um, I think it was a Vision, but he'd been running one of the Phantom 2 range that uses a smart battery on the on his on his uh, bench. He'd been updating firmware. I think he'd been testing some bits and pieces. Then it'd been sat there ticking over and the occasional bit of props on um, motors on and off uh, for a little while. And he only had one battery, and he was going to fly the next day, and he wanted to top it back up to 100%. Um, now, lipos generally do not like being topped, so this isn't something you should do regularly. This is something that maybe once in a while, because of the circumstances that I've outlined, for example, you were doing some bench testing, um, you need to, uh, you know, you want to get the max out of it for the next flight. But as a general rule, don't top off the lipos. However, at your own risk, should you want to do that. So what he did was, as you can see, my charger's on, and he went to plug his battery with 90 something percent in it in, and that happened. No charging indicators, um, that's still showing, and, and he tried switching on, you know, the plug on and off, and reseating the connect, nothing. The reason is because the smart battery has obviously circuitry in there, one of the things it does is says if the battery is above a certain percentage, it will not accept the charge. Now, I don't know what that is. I think I did once, but I've forgotten. It might be 92%, might be 94, might be a bit less than that, might be somewhere in the high 80s. But around that level, if you've reached that point already, it won't take another charge. If you need to, as a you know occasional thing, then here's the tip to get it to accept that charge. Switch the battery on. In other words, just do what you would do to start your aircraft. Short press, long press. And then you'll notice it will start to accept a charge. And that will then top that off from whatever it's at now. This one I think is at 92 because I stopped charging it early just to show you. Uh, and it will now take itself up to 100%. And cut the charge current. So just a quick tip, um, like I said, please don't do this every time. LiPos like to be charged full, discharged to their sort of set rate, you know, usually 20% is uh, remaining at a good level, and then charged back full again. However, if you are interrupted, I don't know, you have a power cut, or uh, the specific circumstance we mentioned earlier where you've been draining the battery a bit and you need to top it off, you can do this once in a while. Uh, and you should be okay, but you know, at your own risk, guys. Hope that was useful, and uh, I'll see you again soon on the kitchen table. Bye bye.